This is true freedom for Foresta. She was given a bicycle by a humanitarian organization. It's her first outing into the world outside the camp. After a year living on the Greek island of Lesbos, the authorities have brought her to Ionina, a region in Western Greece, an hour from the Albanian border. Foresta is now six months into the latest stage of her odyssey. Of course, here is better than Moria, and uh, I think nowhere is comparable to Moria with these hardships. Foresta lived in the camp in Moria for a year and a half. In September 2020, the heavily overcrowded refugee camp burned down. Shortly before that, Foresta and her family were taken to the mainland. Uh, we are still living in the camp in difficult conditions. It's like a prison. And uh, I feel uh, we are like a bird in a cage with dreams with freedom. 1,200 people live here. They're not allowed to work or earn money. A canteen serves basic meals. International inspectors are not allowed in the camp. Six months ago, the asylum seekers stopped receiving cash allowances. The government of Athens now wants to build a wall around the camp. They are gonna to put more limits for refugee, like uh, setting entry and exit times for refugee. I think um, living in this situation, it is sad, it is very difficult, it is disappointed for people, and also it's breaking. They always with stress about what will happen, what will happen to the future. Will we have all future at all or not? She has no social contact with the local Greeks. She draws strength and optimism from her close family ties. Can I see? <laughs> the only escape for the asylum seekers is an old factory, 500 meters away from the camp. People of the camp are depressed, but they won't just make their time busy to don't think about the problems. Woo! Back! Nice! For now, I'm a dance teacher and uh, fitness also uh, as a coach, but I'm not a real coach, I just um, share my experience that I have learned with people, with my friends, and uh, I love sports and also to have fun with people, with my friends, and uh, I want to keep going my sports. And um, yes, it's just for getting progress. Farishta also gives English lessons to women at the camp. The NGO is called Habibi Works, and they've turned the factory into a social space. Here there are sewing workshops, computer and language courses, a bicycle workshop and a wood workshop. Mimi Harpig from Germany has been leading the donor-funded aid program for five and a half years. Wenn man sich das vorstellt, dass da Menschen über Jahre hinweg auf eine Entscheidung warten, die andere über ihr Leben treffen, da ist es für mich absolut bemerkenswert, dass Menschen Tag für Tag die Motivation finden, morgens aufzustehen und sich zu waschen, das Frühstück vorzubereiten, die Kinder zu wecken und sich eine konstruktive, sinnbringende Weise zu suchen, den Tag zu verbringen. Und das ist ein Stück weit schon auch was, was wir hier bieten wollen. Ob die Menschen das dann nutzen, um sich weiterzubilden, um eigenes Wissen zu teilen oder um Gemeinschaft zu finden oder um ganz praktisch Dinge zu reparieren oder herzustellen, das überlassen wir jeder Person selbst.
Feresta's father, Iqbal, is a skilled cabinet maker. He and his son, Erfan, give other refugees tips and help on how to build furniture for their living facilities. The two women need both a clothes rack and a shoe rack. Feresta's brother, Erfan, dreams of one day becoming an IT specialist or an automotive designer. find something for myself, of course I will uh, work in the carpenter because it's my family job. I know also carpenter. So if I could find something for myself, I will continue this job. Also, this one is very good. I don't know the from the Yunan or Qatar Cornis. I said I'm correct shower this. There is only volunteer work at Habibi Works left. Officially, as asylum seekers, they cannot obtain a work permit anyway. This is a project of her. Don't be on progression on this project. We find us on one of the richest continents, maybe on the richest continent of the world. Es ist absolut nicht notwendig, dass Menschen in Zelten oder in Containern in Camps untergebracht werden. Es äh, gibt Infrastruktur, es gibt so viele Gebäude. Ähm, wir sind mit den Ressourcen ausgestattet, um Menschen gut zu integrieren. Äh, das bedeutet, dass Menschen nicht integriert sind und dass sie auf die Art und Weise untergebracht sind, wie sie untergebracht sind, ist eine politische Entscheidung. Es ist politisch gewollt. Und es ist ein, aus meiner Sicht ein enormer Mangel an Solidarität. Und was oft als als Flüchtlingskrise bezeichnet wird, ist im Grunde die Krise der europäischen Werte. Werte wie Freiheit, Gleichheit, Solidarität. Und um genau diese Werte quasi zu leben, sind wir hier. <lacht> Farishta's family has two rooms. The TV does not work. The parents sleep in the living room. Since August, they no longer receive the 200 euros cash allowance. They have exhausted their savings. Their clothes were donations. The only success story is that the children have learned some English. <laughs> the father shows photos of his work before they fled. He had 20 employees at the time. He wants nothing more than to build furniture again. It is not easy looking at photos from a year and a half ago. A look back at one's own past. Uh, one day, finish, and you achieve the real. <laughs> Moria was uh, very bad. Here is better than Moria. Yeah, still bad. but it's still bad. Two years ago, I thought, "Sure, as long as it's better, it's a much better." همون دلشوره ای که دارم دو دلم هنوز همون دلشوره هست هنوز هم من نگران هستم چون که بدون سرنوشت هستیم هنوز اون دلشوره هنوز هم دارم فقط چی عوض شده اونجا خیلی بد بود بهتره یکم فرشتر's parents wanted a better life for their children there are times when they regret the fact that they left They have waited nearly two years for a decision from the Greek authorities. Either their application for asylum is accepted, allowing them to stay in the EU, 
or they faced deportation back to Turkey. They crossed over from there in an inflatable dinghy. Two years passed, but, and we didn't do anything for our progress, for education, for everything. But uh, I am sure of that we will go, maybe Germany, maybe Canada, I don't know. We don't know about our future, what will happen. But if it was negative, we forced to live by ourselves. We forced to, again, experience smuggler ways. If it's uh, negative, we face with great failures, you know, and this is very difficult. So we have to go. We forced to do everything to save our lives. Fereshta feels anxious about the next step, but she does not want to say that on camera. She would rather say something else that is on her mind. I hope one day all the refugees uh, will uh, to get rid of uh, uncertainty uh, to achieve the real comfort, achieve the real peace, to life like normal people. And um, for myself, uh, I always say, fight for your dreams and we will, we will achieve.